Hi everyone, and welcome to another McCormick Museum 2 Minute Tour. This is our chance to get you behind the scenes into some areas that are normally off limits to guests. I'm Chris, and I'll be your guide. Today, we're downstairs in the basement. Now, if you've taken a house tour before, you're well aware that Colonel McCormick loved new and exciting technology, even if he wasn't going to be the person using that technology. The Colonel's kitchen, for example, has all the latest appliances in it. A KitchenAid dishwasher, a General Electric hotel-sized refrigerator, and of course, his first edition General Electric ice cube maker. Now, of course, these are all things that Colonel McCormick would never have really used himself, but they made his staff's life easier, and he was happy to do that for them. It also gave him the opportunity to brag just a little bit to some of his friends who hadn't jumped on the technology bandwagon yet. But these are appliances that you're always able to see if you go on a full house tour. But there's one thing we never show guests, and that's a little bit deeper in the basement. Come on, let's go. Leaving the kitchen and taking a right, we're going to wander down the staff hallway where all the other work areas and storage spaces would have been. And we're gonna end up here. What we're looking at now is a seven by nine by seven walk-in freezer with a 26.7 cubic foot low temperature cooling box built in. Robert bought this bad boy from International Harvester in December of 1942. Now some of you might know International Harvester as Nava Star today, but here in Robert's house we like to remember it as the McCormick Harvesting Machine Company, which was the name originally given to it by Robert's great uncle Cyrus McCormick after he invented the revolutionary McCormick Reaper. The freezer has really held up over time, and in fact it still works today. In the past, we've used this puppy to store cupcakes that we gave out during major park celebrations in honor of Colonel McCormick. Whew. Thank you for joining me on another McCormick Museum two minute tour. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to check out cantini.org or any of Cantini's social media for future programs and events. Hey, hey, can we turn up the heat in here, guys? Anybody?